Hey, are you the new guy who knocked on Franco? What, me? No. Ah, no offense. Ah, who have we here then? Looky, looky. There you are. I've got good news and bad news for you. I want to hear the good news first. Well, I don't really know why, but you've made yourself a couple of powerful enemies. You can count yourself lucky that I recognized you and no one else. Because I am understanding and sociable. And what's the bad news? Raven is looking for you. So are his guards. Actually, all the bandits are looking for you. And if they find you, they'll kill you. A lot of people have already tried that. Then your combat skills are as good as your craftiness. Coming into the camp with some of our armor is like the sheep coming to the wolves. Your life is hanging by a thin thread, son of danger. How much do you want? Oh, no, please. I don't want to extort gold from you. I wouldn't dream of it. Then what do you want? Recently, somebody tried to get Esteban out of the way, but he ran into the bodyguards. Go to Esteban and talk to him. Afterwards, we'll talk again. Hi. What you want? Where do I get a pickaxe? Go to Huno the Smith. But even if you have a pick, that don't mean that you can get into the mine. If you want to get in, you have to talk to Esteban. Don't even bother going to Thor's. He'll only let you in if you have a red stone. Tell me, what do you think of Esteban? Hey, he's the boss here. He's all right, I think. He always lets the good boys into the mine, the ones who know something about mining, I mean. And you know something about mining? <laughs> I'm the best. What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, there's something you should know. Gold is an ore. There's one damn important difference. I mean, what woman would hang a chain of ore around her neck? <laughs> when picking, work from top to bottom. You can work the nuggets loose best that way. There are also diggers who do it the other way around, but eh, it's far more difficult. Hi. Hi, I'm Lenar. Welcome to the diggers camp. Diggers? I thought this was the bandits camp. Right, but the bandits are only here today, so... Can you teach me anything about gold mining? Certainly. But if I teach you something, you'll be able to mine more gold. That's why I'm asking. Sure. But if you can mine more, it's only fair I get a share of it. Well... You might as well give him a share in advance. Well, let's say... 50 gold pieces. Teach me something about gold mining. Good. Regular swings will take you forward. Don't overdo it. But also, don't fall asleep swinging. And don't always strike at the same spot. Try to work around a good size nugget. Do that, and you're on the way to becoming a master digger. Hey. A dark cloud over the house. The one approaches with blood. Needed to call him. He who sees me. He sees me. Oh no. Go away. Be gone. Are you alright? Green. Green novice. I cannot find it. Here, take this swamp weed. Not green. Not strong. Not green. Not strong. How can I help you? The green... 
The green novice will help the novice. You look like a digger. I am a digger. The last time I was in the mine, I worked my ass off. What happens to the gold from the mine? Doris collects it and then distributes it. No one is allowed to keep what he mines. Everybody gets only a part of the gold. That way even the hunters and guards get their share. I think that's okay. Since we've had that rule, there have been fewer deaths and, and the miners still get more than the guys who hang around outside. Why aren't you in the mine now? I was in the mine long enough and slaved away until I was about to fall over. Now I need a few days rest. <sighs> Before I get my next red stone. What's the deal with these red stones? Eh, that's something Thoris and Esteban thought up. Thoris takes care of the gold distribution, and Esteban organizes the workers for the mine. Of course, he doesn't want to run to Thoris every time he sends someone to the mine. That's why he gives us one of those red stone tablets and Thoris lets us in then. It's like a pass. How's it going with you? Well, at least I'm in now. Lucia brews some wicked liquor. But Esteban won't let me into the mine. At any rate, not yet. He's given me another job. And? What does he want from you? There was an attempt on Esteban's life. He wants to know who's behind it. Esteban thinks that Snaff is involved. I'm supposed to keep an eye on him. I'll come back later. Do you want to eat or chatter? What'll it be? What's on the menu? I want to try out a new dish. Fire strips and hammer sauce. Hammer sauce? A sauce made from hammer-hard booze. I have a recipe from a guy called Lou. You get the ingredients and distill the booze up on the alchemist's bench. Then I'll make a sauce out of it. What do you think? Okay, I'll do it. All right, here's the recipe. Hey, you! And? How's it going? Listen, if you want something to eat, go to Snaff. If you want something to drink, you're in the right place. What do you drink here, then? We only have a little beer. The only beer on the island was brought by the Paladines. Just about the only good thing those fellows brought with them. Otherwise, we drink booze. I got moonshine, grog, and white rum. Mmm, you should try that. I got the recipe from Samuel. The old boy really knows his trade. Aren't you from Corinus? Don't remind me. My life in that city was horrible. While the ships with the new convicts kept coming in, there was still life in the town. But all those other guys? <laughs> no thanks. Maybe it's because we're on an island. Well, those days are over. I'm finished with Elvridge. Why? He's a wimp. When the bandits dragged me off, he didn't lift a finger to help me. What are you planning to do? We'll see. For now, I'll stay here with Snaff, Fisk, and the others. Have you already talked to Thoris? Oh, Enos, is that a hunk of a man? <laughs> Excuse me. Let's get back to your question. I haven't set a goal. I'm only drifting. You're not very fond of the Paladins, are you? Those fanatical murderers in the pay of the fire magicians? No. But Lord Hagen occupies the city with his thugs. And everybody bows down to him. And I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to wait until they closed down the Red Lantern and locked me up. The Paladins are the warriors of Innes. They aren't murderers. So? Blood sticks to their swords, too. Just like the weapons of the pirates or the bandits. The only difference is they do it in Innos's name and not because they want to survive. Do you deny Innos then, wench? How could I? It's just people who misuse his name. But I never doubted Innos's divine splendor for a second.
Can you teach me something? <laughs> Only too gladly. You can train your dexterity with me. Give me something to drink. I distilled the booze. Excellent. Then I'll finish it. Here, you can try a portion right away. That'll put some strength in your arm. Oh, and if I can help you again, for you all information is free from now on. Green. Green novice. I cannot find it. Here, take this green novice. You need more swamp weed? Yes, definitely. I will buy all the swamp weed you can get your hands on. I'll even pay you more for it than Fisk. I've got swamp weed for you. So tell me what is wrong with you. Once, I belonged to the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. Everything was all right back then. Fine. We were all condemned criminals. But for us novices, life was free from care. Hey, I was a prisoner in the Valley of Mines myself. Tell me something new. I... I don't remember anything. Darkness lies across my mind. Come on, concentrate. What happened? When did you come back to your senses? Raven. I only remember Raven and... and dark rooms. What about Raven? What did he do to you? I'm sorry. It's as though my mind were held prisoner. I don't understand it myself. There must be a way to refresh your memory. 
Yes. Yes, maybe there is a way. The gurus knew of various forms of altering the spirit and the will. Do you remember anything about that? No. I'm afraid this knowledge vanished with the gurus. Damn. Well, if there is a way to free your spirit, I'll find it. Hey, if you're looking for a decent trader here in the camp, then you just yeah, found him. My hut is right behind Esteban, so if you need anything, come on by. Wait a minute. Show me your wares. That's exactly what I said. We really should have known better. That's totally obvious. It was his decision, wasn't it? Do you really think? Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. That'll only cause more trouble. I'm staying out of it. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. He really should have known better. Why haven't I heard about this before? He really should have known better. I could have told you that before. I used to say that myself. It can't go on like this forever. I'm staying out of it. Those are all just rumors. Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. They all ran like rabbits. I was completely alone. That's no secret. That's totally obvious. He really should have known better. There have been all kinds of rumors. No idea. You tell me. You don't have to ask me that. It was his decision, wasn't it? That's nothing new. Been there, done that. That's exactly what I said. And there's more, believe me. So you're the fellow who fought his way into camp, huh? That got around fast. Franco more, was a tough me. nut. No one messed with him. That'll no one, more trouble. except you. Just to make it clear, if you try the failure, same shit with me, <laughs> I done I'll kill you. I, I want to get into way. the mine. Of course you do. Then you're in the right place with me. Because everyone who digs in the mine gets to keep no a hefty idea. share of the me. gold. And I hand out the red stones you, really you need think? so that Thoris will let you in. Can't rely on that. Give me one of those red stones. Okay, but they aren't free. Normally I uh, demand a share of the gold the boys get for digging. <laughs> How much do you know about mining gold, huh? Well, you probably learned a few tricks, right? If I give you a red stone, it won't be because you're such a great digger. No, I have another job for you. What sort of job? One of the bandits planned to kill me, but instead, my guards no killed like him. He was hot for your job, huh? Ah, he was an forever. idiot. A thug without a brain. He never would have got the idea to attack me on his own. Nah. He was only fulfilling a contract. Someone else sent him. So, that. I'm supposed to find out who was behind it. Whoever I sent me this assassin will pay for it. Find him. I'm and I'll let you it. into the mine. Senyan sent me to you about this business. Senyan? He also works for me. No I told secret. him he should keep his eyes open. As if I didn't have enough problems. How should I go about it? Everyone here in the camp knows about it. So you're playing with all your cards on the table, huh? Try to find out who's on my side and who isn't. And don't let the boys make a fool of you. Talk to Snaff. That fat cook picks up a lot. Nobody wants to know. 
I need better armor. Why? You already have some. That's good enough for you now. If you complete your assignment, we'll talk about it again. That's no secret. Do you really think? Same old thing all over again. Those are all just rumors. I've got no time for things like that. Do you really think? Tell me that isn't true. That's nothing new. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Listen, I don't want anything to do with that business, got it? I have my own worries. I'm a victim myself. In what way? I paid a lot of gold for my last delivery, but it never came. Some swine made off with it. I've been robbed, probably by some of our own people. What sort of delivery? A packet of lockpicks. Someone was supposed to get them from the pirates for me. But a guy named Juan snatched it away from me, including the gold that I paid for it. That bastard is hiding somewhere in the swamp. I have your package. Indeed. What about Juan? He's dead. Good. And he can't cause me any more trouble. As far as you are concerned, I have a pretty good relationship with Huno. I'll see to it that you get your armor cheap from now on. Also, I'll give you one of my weapons. One hand washes the other. That hasn't changed since back then. Juan worked for Esteban. What? Don't play games with me. You knew about it. Fine, you're right. But I hope you also realize why I didn't tell you about it. Everyone in the camp knows you work for Esteban. I don't have any desire to get dragged into this business just because you're hot for a red stone. That will never change. I'm not really working for Esteban. So? You want to pull the wool over the old swine's eyes? Then I'll give you some good advice. Keep it to yourself. When it comes to Esteban, trust no one. Not even me. Got it? Now enough about that. We don't want to be overheard. You already know what I think. I've got no time for things like that. Who said that? Do you I've deal in smithy equipment? Like Huno has steel. I only have a few lumps of ore. But I won't give that up. It's the only thing I have of value. You have to Do you hard. work for Huno? I wanted to make up a bit of gold and took up with Huno. But since then, Esteban hasn't given me anything at all. He said he can't use me anymore. What else can I do but continue to slave away for Huno? Do you really think What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing, man. I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you want from me? Everything else all right with you? I just want to do my job, man. As if I didn't have enough problems. It looks like you're a master of your craft. I've heard that before. Did you bring the steel? Steel? No, I think you're confusing me with... Hmm, somehow you seem familiar. Do we know each other from somewhere? Sure, from the old camp. The old camp, right. You're that curious guy. I thought she was dead. Yes, everybody thinks that. Who else survived? A few. Some fled with Raven like I did. For a lot of others, the old camp became a grave. 
Tell me about your escape. Chaos broke out the day the barrier fell. Some hid, others fled, and there was a plundering everywhere. What did you do? I was about to leave the camp when it turned bright very suddenly, and a scorching pain ate through my skin. I'd been struck by damn lightning. It feels like I can still hear it. Later, someone told me that Thoris found me and took me with him. I need better armor. Fisk said you'd give me a good price. Fisk, you say? Hmm. Well, I'd still owe him a favor. Okay, I'll take the armor. Sure thing. About the attack on Esteban. What do you want from me? I'm looking for the person behind the attack. And why are you coming to me about that? I thought you might know something about that business. I don't know anything. Show me what you have. I'm staying out of it. You should have known it. It had to happen sooner or later. It's better to watch out when you tell why. It had to happen sooner or later. It's better to watch out who you tell why. I've got no time for things like that. Don't wake him! Exactly what? I what? If you want to do yourself a favor, then stay away from Skinner. The fellow is unpredictable. He killed the last guy who woke him up. Let him sleep for everybody's sake. Are you a digger? Because of the pants? Nah, I just wear them because they're comfortable. All I do here is cook meat stew. Here, you can try some. It'll make you strong. It's always important to train your strength. There are many dangers lurking out there. If you want, I can help you to get stronger. Had to happen sooner or later. I want to be stronger. As if I didn't have enough problems. That will never change. Why haven't I heard about this before? What does he know about it? Uh, damn it. What's up? Why did you wake me, eh? I I bet you don't even know. No, don't say anything. It's too late for excuses. Now you have two choices. You can fight me and my Betty, or you can try to run away. In your place, I'd run. And now? What Show you him! For? Show Show him! For? Let him have it! Holy shit! Yeah, that's the ticket. Show him. Hit him. Yeah, that's the ticket. Show Holy him who's shit. boss. Hey, you! I've talked to Esteban. And did he tell you about the attack? He ordered me to find out who sent the assassin. Do you know anything about that? No more than you do. I'm also on the hunt for the guy behind it. And now we come to the interesting part. Let's hear it. I want you to do your job well. I want you to find the traitor. And when you have found him, I want you to kill him for me. Then I will pocket the reward. I have your wanted poster. Don't forget that. Do your job and do it well. 
You can figure out what will happen otherwise. Forget it. Then what do I still need you for, you bum? Hey, people! Look who we have here! And now for some... Tell me, why did Senyan yell, look who we have here? Unpaid debts. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, man. I don't have a problem with it. Quite the opposite. The bastard worked for Esteban. What do you know about the attack? Hey man, I didn't have anything to do with it. What do you have against Esteban? All that swine thinks about is money. Every few days one of us gets eaten by a crawler. But Esteban just won't send any fighters into the mine. And why? Those guys belong to Raven's bodyguards, and Esteban is scared shitless to tell them. <sighs> He'd rather let us get killed. What do you know about the attack? Nothing at all. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? You're looking for the guy who's behind it, huh? But I don't know anything about it. How could I? I was still in the swamp, then... I'll come back later. Hey, you! What do you know about the attack? The thing with Esteban? You know how it is. The barkeeper hears everything, but never takes sides. So do you know something? I didn't say that. At least tell me who I can go to. Oh man, where's the difference? Forget that. If you were in my place, what would you do? I would think about what I know about the guy behind it. First, it was probably one of the bandits. That means he's here in the camp. Second, that he's here in the camp means that he is watching you. Third, as long as he thinks that you're on Esteban's side, he'll never reveal himself to you. So, the interesting question is, what are your chances of finding your man? What are my chances of finding my man? Hmm. You bumped off one of Esteban's people. The man you're looking for will believe you're on his side. But he won't just reveal himself to you. You'll have to find out more. Thanks. Hey, I didn't tell you anything you didn't already know, got it? What do you think of Esteban? Whoever talks about him is soon dead. What do people here think of Esteban? You'll have to be a bit more precise. What about Finn? A good digger. He has a nose for gold. Esteban favors him because of it. I think he's in pretty good standing with him. What does Lenar think about Esteban? As far as I can tell, Lenar doesn't think at all. Emilio, what does he think about Esteban? I don't think he'll bring any flowers to Esteban's grave, if you know what I mean. What about Fisk? Fisk is Fisk. He pays his share to Esteban and distributes the goods he mostly gets from the pirates. I don't think he really cares about Esteban. What does Huno think of Esteban? Ah, Huno. I know almost nothing about him. That information is, of course, free. What about Paul? I don't think he particularly likes Esteban. Since he's been working for Huno, he'll never get into the mine. Hey, you! What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Nothing at all. About the attack on Esteban. Yes? Do you have any idea who was behind it? Sure! Let me tell you, 
I bet that Emilio is behind this. He always ran to the mine like a crazy man. He dug as much as he could. But since the attack, he's been sitting on his bench, not budget an inch. It's obvious. To get into the mine, he has to have a red stone from Esteban. I bet he doesn't dare look him in the eye. What would Emilio get out of Esteban's death? What do I know? Maybe he has a pal in the mine who would take over Esteban's place then. Yeah, that would make sense. Can you... Sure. A uh, quite... About the attack on Esteban. Uh, yeah? Do you have any idea who's behind this? Why do you want to know? Esteban wants to see him dead. Oh, you work for the boss. Then I'll tell you what I know. When the attack took place, I was trying to get my pickaxe from Huna the Smith. But he wasn't there. And? Usually he's always there. Very suspicious if you ask me. Lenar told me a bit about you. Lenar? That guy's an idiot. You must have noticed. He said you haven't been in the mine since the attack happened. I don't know anything. Help me find out who was behind the attack. No, I don't want anything to do with it. If an idiot like Lenar notices that you're behaving oddly, it won't take long before Esteban finds out too. I... Shit. I'll tell you one name. Nothing more. I'm listening. Huno. Go to Huno. He must know something about this business. That will never change. That's nothing new. Can't rely on that. Hey, you! Fortuno is pretty confused and could use a potion to restore his memory. Fortuno? That's Raven's servant, no? He was. Now he's just a wreck. And it's Raven's fault. Raven? Until now, I thought a lot of him. Hmm. All right. But here in the swamp, I can't brew any potions. I could brew the potion. There's an alchemist's bench in the camp. I just need the recipe. Be careful with this recipe. Brewing this potion is dangerous. If something goes wrong in the brewing, or one of the ingredients isn't right, the potion will be deadly. I'll be careful.
I have a potion for you. It will help you to remember. I trust you. And? Ah! I remember again. Now I see. Adonos, be with me. What have I done? Yes, what have you done? And above all, what has Raven done? I helped him to make contact with him. He wanted various elixirs. I brewed them for him. He tried to open the portal to get into the temple. Why? What does he want in the temple? A powerful artifact. It lies buried together with the one who once bore it. A mighty warrior who fell to him. And then? We couldn't open the portal. But Raven was sure that he could if he had the tomb of the priest excavated. That's why he brought the slaves here. Victims he could force to dig where the powers of time lie at rest. Tomb of the priest? The resting place of a priest of Adonos. It lies in the mine. I also remember the stone tablets. He believed that they would show him the way. And once he was able to decipher the characters on them, he no longer needed me. He put a spell of forgetfulness on me. And, and you have freed me. What do you know about the attempt on Esteban's life? Attack? Sorry, I was absent for some time. I don't know anything about it. As if I didn't have enough bombs. Yeah, he really said that. And there's more, believe me. Kuno is suspected of having something to do with the attack. I don't know anything about it. I'm staying out of it. But you work for Huno, so you do know He's something. I know nothing. Honest, I have to I go now. Wait a minute. It's better to watch out who you tell. Do you know what Esteban will do to you when he finds out you're covering for Huno? Man, leave me alone. I, I don't have anything to do with that business. You don't have to tell me that. Tell me what you know now, or I'll slam you into the wall, Paul. You can't rough me up just because you work for the boss. I can. As if I Cut the crap. Paul. All I know is that Huno has a bone to pick with Esteban. He's constantly going on at me about that Esteban that he screwed up business for him and so on. I only listened and never said anything. You really think? Exactly. You see, that wasn't so bad. It was his decision, wasn't it? He was falling down drunk. I've heard a few things about you. So? I heard that you weren't in your place when the attack occurred. What else? Paul said you hate Esteban. So, did he? What else? Emilio spat out your name. You definitely know something about the attack. You've been having a chat with old Emilio, eh? And he isn't the only one who suspects you. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Nobody ever asks me to. I want to join forces with the assassin. Against Esteban, really? Then prove it. I've been waiting for too long for a delivery of steel from the pirates. I suspect that Esteban captured it in order to sell it to me later at a higher price. Of course, he won't do that himself. A couple of bandits in his swamp are on his payroll. How do you know that? Drunken bandits talk too much. Does this talkative bandit have a name? His name is none of your business, but the guy you're looking for is called Juan. Anyway, I haven't seen him in the camp for a long time. You'll have to look for him in the swamp. First, tell me who is behind the attack. No, I don't trust you. Look, the next conversation I have is either going to be with the person behind the attack or with Esteban. Who I talk to is your choice. All right. I'll get you together with a perpetrator. But it happens the way I say. Got it? Go to the bar and talk to the barkeeper. You'll learn everything else from him. I used to say that what are you time. waiting for? Go to the bar! It's better to watch out who you tell one about it differently. 
He thinks it's as easy. I couldn't as that. care less. I'm no better off myself. Hey, you. Who knows sent me? Looks like you found your man. Go on up to the next floor. Someone's waiting for you. So you were behind the attack. Yes. Esteban is in the way of my business. He won't let any of the bandits who work for me into the mine. He's making sure that everyone works for him, and only for him. That way, he can pocket a percentage of every deal and control the whole camp. I could sell you to Esteban. And then? What do you think will happen then? Do you think he'll give you what you want? Forget it! I have a better plan. Do you want to take his place? No, I'm a traitor. I just want to go about my business in peace. What are you planning? We'll get Esteban out of the way. That means you will kill him and take his place. As long as his bodyguards are with him, I don't have a chance. Then we'll have to get them to leave by telling the truth. What truth? You have done your job. You know that I was behind the attack. Tell Esteban, and he'll send his boys to kill me. I'll expect them here. When they're gone, you can deal with the bastard, and I'll take care of the guards. I won't be treated like that. Tell me that isn't true. He should have known better. Can't rely on that. About the assignment. Listen, I have other things I have to take care of. I thought you might be interested in knowing who was behind the attack. Who is it? Those are Tell me his name so my guards can wring his neck. The traitor Fisk is behind it. At the moment, he's sitting in the bar unsuspecting and drinking. Ha! Well done, kid. My really guards will take care of him. Better. You heard him, boys. Go get you Fisk. And what happens next? No what happens deal. next? I'll tell you what happens. Fisk will die a painful death. And everyone in the camp will find out about it. That'll be a warning to all of them. It can't go on like this forever. Do I get a red stone now? Yeah, you did your job well. Yeah, no secret. Someone like you has no business in the mine. I can use you much better out here. You'll stay in the camp and continue working for me. Are you trying to play me for a fool? There was never a question of me working for you. It isn't everyone who gets an offer like this, but if you don't want it, you're free to leave the camp. How about if you keep your word and give me a red stone? Hey, one more word. My guards will have to hurt you too. What guards? What? Oh, I see. Who said that? You're trying to pull a fast one. Just you wait. Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. And now? Yeah, that's the ticket. Atta boy! That's no secret. Nobody ever asks me. I'm staying out of it. You know the rule. Totally no one goes into the mine without a redstone tablet. Forget the mine. Secret. I have to see Raven. Even then, Anything we have wrong. rules here and they apply to everyone, even to you. What Go back. You know about if you try to enter the upper square without permission, the what other guards that? will kill you. Those are the rules. And there's more, believe me. It's important that I get to Raven. Oh yeah? Do you really think you can make it through to him? His guards have orders not to let anyone in. You'd be dead before you even saw him. So knock that idea out of your head. Don't you remember me from the old camp? You were one of the prisoners. Maybe you were one of my guards. And 
Does that make us allies now? No, it doesn't. Maybe you're the guy who brought down the barrier. Maybe you also killed my pals. So what? Those times are over. That's exactly what I said. Come on, let me in. For old time's sake. Let me explain something to you. Do you know why I'm still alive? Because I've always been loyal to my people. I don't have to agree with everything Raven does. But I'll stick to the rules. And so will you. What does he know about duty? He should have known better. Nobody wants to know. Hey, what's with your armor? Where can I get armor like that? You can't. This armor is reserved for Raven's Guard. I hardly think there's an entrance exam for new candidates. But the ultimate decision isn't mine, it's Raven's. That'll only cause more trouble. I have a stone tablet for you here. You don't have the right stone. Only the red ones are important. That's totally obvious. I have a red stone tablet here. Okay. You killed Esteban, so you will do his job now. They have a few problems with mine crawlers in the mine. Three diggers have bought it already. It's your job to provide replacements. And when can I finally get into the damned mine? Do your job. Afterwards, you can do what you want. I used to say that myself. It can't go on like this forever. That will never change. Hey! You're needed in the mine. You really do have a red stone for me. Excellent. Now I'll work that damned rock to crumbs. I already know exactly where I'll go. One more thing. If you go mine and watch out that you don't strike too hard, otherwise your pickaxe will get wedged in the gold. You're needed in the mine. Sure thing, boss. You want to see the best in the mine? Then I'll get back to it. Oh, uh, something else. I'll let you in on a digger's secret. Now and then it's a good idea to give it a really good whack. If you've hacked a couple of times and nothing has come out, then drag the point of the pick sideways across the rock. With a little luck, you'll get several chunks at once that way. Hey! I'll come back later. Hey! You're needed in the mine. So now you're the boss here. Okay, then I'll get going. Wait a minute. Esteban is finished. I've waited for this for a long time. I think you've got things to do now, and uh, I need to go back to my business. So, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Tell me that isn't true. Why haven't I heard about this before? You don't have to tell me that. Why haven't I heard about this before? Hey! I have the steel. And? Was Juan there too? He was. I knew it. That rat Esteban was behind it. You're all right. To be honest, I hadn't expected this from you. Here. Take this as a reward. You don't have to ask me that. 
He thinks it's as easy as that. There have been all kinds of... I sent out three guys. All right. Then as far as I'm concerned, you can go in. That's exactly what I said. Halt. Get out of my way, guard. All right, you can pass. Tell me that isn't true. About Raven, I was in the bandit camp to the east. Wonders. Raven is their leader. But in order to get to Raven, I have to get some of the bandits out of the way first. Fine. Then good luck. But do not forget that it must happen quickly. Raven must not reach his goal under any circumstances. He has a gold mine, and he has the prisoners digging for gold. That sounds like him. You must get the prisoners out of there. Yes, of course. I'm working on it. There is even a fellow with the bandits who claims to know Raven's plans. His name is Fortuno. He says that Raven wants to get into the temple to get a powerful artifact. And? Did he know more about this artifact? He could only tell me that Raven has had the grave of a priest of Adonis opened. This grave may contain the key to the temple. You should take a no, look I around there. Raven has forced the prisoners to excavate the grave of the priest. That is not good. You must hurry and stop that Raven. You don't have to ask me that. About the relics. What about you this? That looks good. Where'd you find that? The bandits use these That's stone nice. tablets as a sort of currency. The tablets bear the sign There's of Korhodren, no a great warrior. He is the commander whose son, Rodimus, caused the downfall of the entire city. And there's more. I'll bet Believe the bandits me. don't even know what it is they are trading there. That's exactly Very good. Said. The image of this city is becoming clearer, but Been we still don't know up. enough. In all, there must be five of this sort of stone tablet hidden around here. Find them and bring them to me. Here is some gold as a reward. I'll see whether I can find anything. Really good, but hurry. Time is not our ally. It was his decision, wasn't it? May Adonos protect you. Some problems solve themselves. And there's more, believe me. I'm tremendously relieved to see that you have arrived here unscathed. How is it that you arrived here before me? We traveled through a curious dimension. Who knows what detours you took. And now, can I use the portal again? We came here directly. It obviously works quite well. Of course, I'll let you know if I have the suspicion that it could be otherwise. What have you done here up to now? I'm studying the history of the builders, and I'm trying to understand why they closed the portal. It looks very much as though they wanted to hide the sunken city from the rest of the world. Terrible things happened here many years ago, they were seized by something awful. There was a dreadful civil war shortly before the downfall of the city, if their records can be believed. The streets were in flames, and a flood which devoured everything ultimately sealed the fate of the builders. The few who survived the inferno closed this part of the island in the hope of locking up the chaos. Did you say that there was a flood? Adonos himself appeared to them to end the madness. He raised the city to the ground. What made the builders so agitated? One of their own devoted himself to evil. He was a great commander named Quahodron. Returning from a successful battle outside the protecting walls of the city, he brought the evil with him. All of his followers fell to the madness a short time later and began to battle with the common folk. The civil war that followed reduced everything to rubble. What do you think we will find here? I can only speculate about that. You should talk to Satyrus. He has a certain idea. And we fools have reopened the portal. I'm not happy about that either, believe you me. But what choice did we have? If we cannot stop what is happening here, 
then Corinus will suffer exactly the same fate that once befell the builders of this ancient city. Hey, you! Teach me that language. The high language of the priests is truly difficult to understand, but I will gladly show you. Above all else, the holy scriptures which explain the history and magic of the creators are written in the language of the priests. Each of these texts is a real treasure, if one understands their meaning. Why haven't I heard about hey. this before? I will never change. Let's deal. You already know what I think. That's no secret. It's better to watch out who you tell what. Been there. Hey! <laughs> I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Here are a few gold coins. Anything's possible. And there's more, believe me. I don't want to hear that anymore. Nefarious told me about a flood. It is written that Adonos himself descended from heaven to punish the unbelievers and banish them to the realm of the dead, aroused by his holy wrath. He let the sea fall upon the builders of this city and swept them away. The swamp to the east still bears witness to these events of the past. What could have made Adonis so angry? The temple of this city was once a great, glorious structure. Everyone honored it and prayed to our god, Adonis. Rademus, the son of the commander Quahodron, desecrated the temple. As a result, one after another fell victim to evil. I suspect that Adonos would not forgive this, and his revenge fell upon the land. This makes it even more important that we stop Raven. He is about to do exactly the same thing. May Adonos protect you. <laughs>